Welcome to Bros Talking Sports. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got another exciting episode for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Today, Friday, 6 p.m., we got the top five greatest athletes of all time. That is right. Bros Talking Sports, we're breaking it down. Top five greatest athletes of all time. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. How? How do you break down the greatest athletes of all time? Well, I'm about to tell you. Because listen, it all comes down to a category. All right? We're going to break down the category of the greatest of all time. When you think about it, the greatest, that's a strong word, the greatest of all time time there has been so many athletes out there but when you think about it the greatest athletes of all time needs speed strength quickness endurance coordination iq power clutchness they need to have the clutch gene in the greatest of all time someone that has excelled in their sport someone an individual that has risen to the top a winner a champion that is the criteria of the greatest of all time so when i give you my top five greatest of all time just remember that this is my top five You can have opinion on yours and all of that, but make sure you put it in the comments. Let me know who you think the greatest athletes of all time are. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it on Bros Talking Sports. Thank you so much for tuning in on your Friday evening. Bros Talking Sports. We are live, baby. Like, comment, subscribe and share. All right. Number five. Greatest athlete of all time is coming in at none other than me. I got a couple. I got a couple props for you guys. All right. Let me see if y'all could tell who who uh, who it is. <laughs> all right. Uh oh. What is this? What we got here? Uh oh. Y'all see it? Number five. The greatest athlete of all time. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Tiger Woods. That's right. Tiger, 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 Tiger Woods, y'all. Man, Tiger Woods is so great. He set the world on fire in the early 2000s, late 1998, 99. He set the world on fire, winning 15 championships throughout his career. He's three away from the infamous 18, and he's still playing. Tiger Woods is one of the most iconic superstars we have ever had. Now, I know what you might be saying to yourself, how? How, Sway? How? How does Tiger Woods make it? Well, guess what? It all goes back to the criteria that I have for the greatest athlete of all time, which is Now you think about golf. I know a lot of you fans out there, golfers, think about golfing. You know how much mental it is. You know it takes speed, strength, quickness, endurance, coordination, IQ, power, clutchness. Tiger Woods has excelled in his sports. He, as a matter of fact, put the golf world on display. He He made black people watch golf. Black people wasn't watching golf before Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods did that, all right? And that's another reason why he is the greatest athlete of all time, okay? He has risen to the top. He is a winner, a champion, 15 times over. So Tiger Woods, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, as I said, deserved to be top five greatest athlete of all time. Ooh, this is spicy, you guys. The epic, epic hole-in-ones. Okay, Tiger Woods, the unbelievable comebacks, you see it, the red shirt, y'all knew. When you see the red shirt on Sundays, you knew it was game over. Tiger Woods did that for us, okay? He has buildings with his name all over the world on it. 
Tiger Woods, number five greatest athlete of all time. Ooh, we're getting spicy, you guys. As I said, had a couple props for you. All right. Ooh, should we keep it moving on Bros Talking Sports? Thank you all for tuning in. This is epic, epic, all right? Number four, the greatest athlete of all time is coming in at, hold up, hold up, got some props. As I said, got a couple props. Take the take the stuff off. Hold up, see if y'all can tell who this is real quick. That is right. Ah, uh, number four greatest athlete of all time. You see it, Michael Phelps, the one, the only, that bad man. Twenty-three gold medal, gold medals. Twenty-three gold medals. He set the world on fire when he was in the Olympics, just swimming out of his mind. I used to swim. I, I was an avid little swimmer. I knew how to swim miles and miles a day so i know how hard it is michael phelps absolutely comes down number four in my top five greatest athletes of all time you know why because it all comes back to the criteria as i said michael phelps when it comes to swimming he has the speed he has the strength the quickness it takes to get past every other swimmer he has the endurance the coordination the iq and the power he is a winner. He has risen to the top above all other. Michael Phelps is a championship and, I mean, is a champion and he is a winner, as I said. Number four, greatest athlete of all time. I feel like it's undeniable. Fans, let me know. Bros Talking Sports, let me know, you guys, if Michael Phelps deserves to be in my top five. Absolutely he does. What? Come on now. Epic. So epic. All right. Let's throw the throw this stuff back on. All right. Michael Phelps, number four. All right. We're getting spicy, you guys. We are getting spicy. All right. <gasps> number three. We are officially at number three. Greatest athletes of all time. This one's going to turn a lot of heads. This one right here. This one right here is going to make a lot of people mad. But it's all right because he is in the top five of all time. Every athlete that's ever lived, he is in my top five, but he's number three. All right, here we go. Michael Jordan. That is right. Michael Jordan, number three, the greatest athlete of all time. I mean, we got another prop. Got another prop. You already all see it. The Chicago Bulls sleeve all right let's go mj all right michael jeffrey jordan number three greatest athlete of all time six time nba champion two three peats in a row uh six time finals mvp nine time defensive champion olympic gold medal winner some would say the great the GOAT. No, not me. But I say he's the second greatest player of all time. He's a game changer. Five-time NBA MVP. 14-time All-Star. Everybody wants to be like Mike. Y'all know the slogan. Everybody wants to be like Mike. The shoes, the one, the only Michael Jeffrey Jordan is number three greatest athletes of all time. I said the accolades. He changed the game. Yes, Larry Bird and uh magic johnson changed the game in the 80s but michael jordan in the late 80s early 90s especially with the dream team in 92 changed the game when you talk about athletes michael jordan wouldn't take no for an answer he got it done he never allowed an opponent to get to a game seven because he is that great so number three all time that bad man you see it right here look at that i even got it tatted Jordan's tatted right there, you know, just where he were to sleep. You know, I mean, that's how dedicated I am. Y'all see Jordan's all over the studio. Bro's talking sports. We love it. All right. Bro's talking sports. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Number two. All right. Let's take that off real quick, man. Let's keep it rolling. All right. Top five greatest athletes of all time. Coming in 
at number two. Let's get it. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is so damn great that you don't even need a prop for Muhammad Ali because he was the smoothest talker in the game. He would take he was Mr. Still Your Girl before Trey Songs. He won 56 fights out of 61. Yes, do the math. He only lost five. The math is mathing. He went to jail because he was standing on business. He got out, said, I'm the greatest. Won the belt back just for the world to witness. That is how great Muhammad Ali was. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. He's fast. He's uh, quick. It goes back to the criteria on the greatest of all time, which is speed, strength, quickness, endurance, coordination, IQ, power, clutchness. Someone that has excelled in their sport, a champion, a winner, someone that has risen to the top. He has done that multiple times. He has put his life on the line every single time he went out in the ring. You talk about greatest athlete. It takes balls to go into a ring to get your head smacked. But he was so quick. He was dancing around. You know how Muhammad does. All right. Cassius Clay, you know, greatest athlete of all time. Number two, Muhammad Ali. Absolutely. That's undeniable. That's undeniable, man. I like it. Ooh, we're going to keep it rolling. We only got one left. Who could it be? Who could it be? All right. Before, before I go over my top, uh, my number one greatest athlete of all time, before I do that, let me go ahead and shout out some honorable mentions, okay? Because these also could have been in my top five. Absolutely. And they might be in yours. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know. Pele, greatest soccer player ever. All right. I know I, I don't watch much soccer, but I know when it comes to it, before Messi, before Ronaldo, there was this bad man named Pele. All right. Cold could have been in my top five greatest sports athlete of all time. He's won so many, he's won so much. Bo Jackson, two sport athlete, quit because he wanted to, but Two sport athlete, Bo Jackson, could have been in the top five. Usain Bolt, Mr. He's fast as hell. All right. Flash. Usain Bolt could have been in there. Greatest runner of all time. Babe Ruth. We talk about baseball. He won seven World Series. Babe Ruth, the man, could have been in there. He wasn't on steroids. He was the real deal. And also, the greatest athlete of all time. This could be a discrepancy, but Tom, Thomas, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady could have been in my top five greatest of all time athletes, but he is not. Seven Super Bowl wins. You know what he's done. The record is undeniable. But let's get to it. This is so epic. Number one, greatest athlete of all time. Oh, I got a prop. Here we go. Hold up. Got to take this off again. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. Let's get it. <sighs> Let's go, man. All right, we are here. We are live and in effect. Ooh, I got dizzy. <sighs> Let's get it, y'all. Bros Dog Sports. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Number one, greatest athlete of all time, LeBron James. That is right. You know what it is, okay? LeBron, Raymond, James, the greatest athlete of all time. It all comes back to the criteria which LeBron James has. Speed, strength, quickness, endurance, coordination, IQ, power, clutchness. Someone that has excelled in their sport. An individual who has risen to the top, a winner, a champion, all of which he is. Now, as you see, I got this because, you know, he'd be going bald. But, man, LeBron James. All right, let's get to the greatness and why he is 
the greatest athlete of all, all time. LeBron James, King James, all time leading scorer. Year 22 coming up. He's already gave us 21 years of greatness. What more do you want? He is basically from outer space, the chosen one, the kid from Akron. He could have played any sport he wanted, but he chose basketball. Ten-time finals appearances, eight straight to be exact, a four-time NBA champion, a finals MVP four times, an NBA MVP four times. Could have been ten if you ask me, but they was hated. Twenty-time all-star, excuse my language, he's been an all-star so damn much, I'm mumbling my words. He's been in the league 21 years. He's been an all-star 21. He's not, he wasn't an all-star his rookie year. You know why? Because he was the rookie of the year. And I don't think you could be in an all-star when you're a rookie. All right? He has every record in the history of records. Three-time all-star MVP, 13-time first team, five-time defensive first team, assist leader, scoring champ. He was a four-time athlete of the year, the three-time sports person person of the year, a male athlete of the year four times, and we're still talking about LeBron, Raymond James. He is the top 75 players in NBA history, and he is number one on that list. He is the athlete of the decade, LeBron, Raymond James. It all goes back to the criteria. Someone that has given you 21 years of greatness must not be undenied. We are caught up in the moment because we are watching it. 10, 15, 20 years from now, the fans will look back and say, what in the world were we talking about, about LeBron James? Number one. On Bros Talking Sports, the greatest athlete of all time. Woo! Talk that talk, man. That is epic. I can't even. That was so damn epic, LeBron. <sighs> Woo! Take that my bald cap off, you know, because, yeah, I'm like, man, that actually might pull my line. But... Woo! You guys, that got me goosebumps going, okay? An epic top five greatest athletes of all time. Let me know what you think for sure. Who else could have been in there? Who do you think is the top five greatest athletes of all time? Bros Talking Sports. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on your Friday when you could have been somewhere else at 6 p.m. But you're tuning in live for the premiere. Let's get it, man. All right. We got something special for you guys next week. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ooh, let's get it. Oh, before we go, I just want to throw out there, we got a new segment. It's called Top 5 Biggest L's. Top 5 Biggest L's. We're going to do Top 5 Biggest W's too, but we got Top 5 Biggest L's of the week coming up right now. Let's get to it, okay? It's going to be brief and and real quick, but I just want you all to know who took the most L's in the sports world this week, all right? Let's get to it. This week on Who Takes an L, top five goes to those Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons this week have been found tampering. They've been tampering with Kirk Cousins. How in the hell? Before they signed him, they tampered. They wanted to get him. They was talking to him before they really could. Atlanta Falcons, you took the L. You got fined $250,000. The GM got fined $50,000. And it's just a bad look. You also got your fifth round draft pick for 2025 taken away. So come on now. All right. It's going to take more than the quarterbacks to win games. So make sure you guys are making smart decisions out there. Y'all, Atlanta Falcons took the L, number five. Number four, who took the L this week on Bros Talking Sports? We got, this one's kind of a sad one, though, in, in all honesty, guys. All right. The world took an L because... We lost a great legend, a great legend in Jerry West. Jerry West was so iconic. I just want to say RIP to the great Mr. Clutch, the logo. He died at 86 yesterday. And I just want to give a moment of silence.
Mr. Jerry West. NBA champion 1972, finals MVP 1969 on a losing team. No player has ever done it since. 14-time All-Star, 13, uh, I mean, an All-Star MVP, 10-time first team, four-time All-Defense, scoring champ, assist leader. As an executive, Jerry West, eight-time champion, Two-time executive of the year, the one, the only, Jerry West. RIP, you guys. There was this, someone came out and said Jerry couldn't stand to see the Boston Celtics win another championship and be one up over the Lakers. So he went ahead and took it early, man. That's much respect. One more time, RIP for the Jerry West, the logo. The world took an L. All right, number three, you guys, on who takes a, who takes an L this week in the sports world, we got the Lakers. The Lakers are two less than two weeks away from the draft, and they don't have a head coach. They thought they had one in Dan Hurley, but Dan Hurley backed out. He signed a three-year, $30 million contract or something like that, um, or five-year, $30 million. He could have had double the money in L.A., but he backed out. So the Lakers take an L. This week in the sports world, what are they going to do? The Lakers, as I said, they're less than two and a half, two weeks away. Are they going to get back on track with JJ Redick? What are they going to do? Mark Jackson? I, there's a lot of talk about that, but, you know, I don't know. It's a tough, tough position to be in. You shouldn't have fired Darvin Ham. You shouldn't have fired Bill Walton. I mean, uh, uh, not Bill Walton, uh, Luke Walton. My apologies. You, like, you just keep firing people. All right, you're going to give Sam Cassell a job? What y'all going to do, L.A.? It's a tough position to be in, especially when you got LeBron and possibly his last year. You got to draft Bronny. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be some steps to this. But Lakers, you took an L this week on Bros Talker Sports. We'll see what y'all do in the next coming weeks, all right? Number two, who took an L on Bros Talker Sports in the sports world? We got those Dallas Mavericks. They, they took not one L, but two L's this week, and they're down 3-0 to the Boston Celtics. As I said, that is unbelievable. Dallas, you let me down. Kyrie, you didn't show up. They're getting exposed. Boston had a cakewalk to the finals, and now look what they're doing. They're about to sweep. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Boston, but shout you out, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Horford, uh, Drew, everybody on the team, Porzingis, you guys deserve it. White, man, y'all got a whole squad. Also, shout out Brad Stevens. As I said, he's in the head office doing his thing. It's time you give him his damn respect, all right? Even though even though uh, he hasn't won a championship yet, this is the time. He's been building and building and building and building and building. He's been so close so many times. Shout you out, Brad Stevens. Much respect, all right? Here we go, you guys. Number uh Number one this week on who took a L. Yes, we are talking sports, but I had to throw this in there, you guys. Kai Sinat, a.k.a. Kai Sinat, Kevin Hart, Drewski, had a stream nine over nine hours long overnight. Kevin Hart took the L this week, you guys. Right here, as you can see, Kevin Hart gets splashed. He fell asleep in less than like 30 seconds. He was out like a light. They got him so good. This is so epic. Kevin Hart took the L. I should not act. Kai should not actually took the L as well, but it was so epic. Kevin Hart took the L. This was unbelievable. Make sure you guys go check out Kai Sinat's stream on YouTube right now. The full nine hours. All right. Woo! That is it for me. Top five. Who took an L this week in the sports world? All right. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. Top five. Um, as you can see, honorable mentions. I just want to throw it out there because um, it's only right. Caitlin Mother Clark. She took an L this week because she was left out of the Olympics, the women's Olympic team. Okay. She took an L. But that's all right. There was 12 players that was better than her. So it's all right. 
She's only can not even hope for an injury, but if there is something of that nature, then she would probably be right in there. The world wants to see Kaylin Clark, but unfortunately, Kaylin Clark took the L on Bros Talking Sports. All right. Let's get to it, man. Hey, until next week, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is so epic. Bros Talking Sports, we are here. All right. 6 p.m. next Friday. We out. It's coming out. NBA season is going to be over. We ain't going to have no more sports, really. Uh, NHL is going to be over. We'll talk about that. I'm going to talk about the last game uh, here real quick, I think, uh, tomorrow. And uh, or we'll see. This is the final week in the Stanley Cup, but we will talk about it before we wrap up sports for the summer. Baseball obviously is going on. And we might talk a little baseball just for your baseball fans, but we're going to take a little break here coming up soon just to get our thoughts together, get the next uh, regroup for the season, and we'll go from there. But definitely make sure you guys expect an episode every Friday, 6 p.m., just for y'all, okay? Bros Talking Sports. We are out. Yeah.